Okay, so when you belly dance, there's a lot of ways to do it, right? Or to add to your performance. Uh, in America, a lot of things are added to, your, to the performance of a belly dancer. Uh, more than in, in the Eastern countries where, where it actually started. So you have a sword. Some people, well, some dancers use it. They place it on their heads and then they start dancing with them. There's also the candles. You know, you put candles uh, on a chandelier and so on. And you, you, you dance with it as well. Um, the stick, right? The stick is the most f common form of, uh, you know, when you put it on your head, you balance it. And then you do movements, right? While it's on the head without making it fall. Uh, the stick is actually used in the Middle East more by men. Uh, it's not something that the women used to use, but in America, it is pretty popular. Another thing that's also very popular is the veil. Uh, the veil is something that in Egypt is used usually in the entrance. Right, like it's just something to to en to enter with, to, to have a, like a big bam when you come in. But here in America, some people do whole dance routines, just you know, keeping the veil on the, on the body and dancing with it. Um, and actually, it's only been around for I think 200 years. Not even it, it's not that pop. It wasn't that popular before, as I said. In the Middle East, they didn't used to use a veil. Um, and if also some people uh, use the zils. Also, the finger symbols, uh, those have been around for quite a while, I think uh, 200 BC, uh, they were very popular. And in America, we use them with the music, you know, while the music's on, we just, we, we show that we can coordinate. But really in the Middle East, you stop the music completely and then you let the dancer do them. That's the difference in the contrast between the Middle East and the American style of belly dancing.